Hey, what's up you guys? Big Time Collector 01 here, back at it again with another action figure review. And today we'll be taking a look at the new Mattel Masters of the Universe Masterverse New Eternia Mechanic. I got this from, you know, Big Bad, not Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth. He just recently went into stock on BBTS, so, you know, this is really cool. Like, like you saw in my Triclops review, me and my dad, like, have been collecting these. And, you know, this is such an awesome line, so I'm really happy to have Mechanek into this line. Here's all the other figures from the Wave. There's a little bio if you want to read it. Pause it right now. Get some nice product images. And then you get, you know, some artwork. You get Clawful right there. You get, you know, a really nice image of Mechanek, Masterverse at the top. And then a nice image of him on the side. And then a barcode at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack them open. Before we take a look at the figure, let's take a closer look at his accessories. He comes with, you know, these two gripping hands out of the package. That's so he can hold his club, which looks really nice. I do like the painted, or it's not painted, it's casted in silver. But if you don't want these uh, gripping hands, you can pop these out. You can put in these two fisted hands, which are really cool. Mechanek also comes with this really nice shield. It's got some, you know, this really cool, like, decal on it. It's got some, like, battle-worn, like, decals on it, which looks nice. You can plug it into his forearm on his right side. It is kind of, you know, tricky to do. It's really tight, but you get it on there, and that's really cool. You can also plug it into his back for, like, a stored look, and that's also pretty neat. And what would Mecha Neck be without his, you know, Mecha Neck? This is really cool. I really do like this. It's, you know... This really long, like, neck piece or apparatus. These are awesome. It's, it is segmented, so you can get some articulation out of it, which is really cool. They're all on ball joints. You know, you just pop it out the ball socket. You put that, you know, you just peg it in there. And then you just peg the head in at the top, which is really cool. And like I said, these are segmented, so you can... You know, pop each individual one out for different lengths, which is really cool. It's a cool option. But there is also another really cool thing about this. You can, you know, mix it with the club. You can pop the club head off. And then let's just take this one and then put it like that, which is really cool. But you can also put like, you can put like all of them on there for like this extended club. But it's not really a club at this point. Like, it is actually supposed to be a telescope as well. And that is really, really cool. Like, I really like, you know, the posability and just the length of these neck pieces. It's so cool. I really do like this. Quickly, I wanted to measure out how long he'd be with his neck. And, oh, man, he actually comes to just under a, a foot at 11 and 3 quarters inches tall. Wow. That's crazy. Now let's take a closer look at Mechanic. Starting off with the head, I think it looks really nice. That's, you know, got that classic Mechanic look. It's got the vac metal, you know, goggles, which is really cool. I like the silver, like, you know, band and the the, the red helmet. It's just, it looks nice. I do like it. You know, you get that, you know, kind of that, you know, nice facial expression on him as well. And then, you know, going down to the torso, it is... You know, I, I don't know if this is the basic Masterverse torso we've been seeing. You can remove the armor, but I'm not going to do that right now. But yeah, he's got this armor overlay. I think this is a new body, if I'm not mistaken. I don't recognize these arms. These aren't like your usual Masterverse arms. They do look different. So I'm really curious to see if these are new arms. I'm really curious. But the the blue on this figure looks really nice. The figure overall... I love the colors on this guy. I love the metallic blue. It is marbleized plastic, so you will get that marbling effect. And, you know, it's it would have been cool if it were painted, but again, it's really I really do like the blue, and I really like these silver boots. These these colors just pop. I really do like the look of this mechanic. He's probably the best looking Masterverse figure like ever. Like he looks so nice. I really do like the look of this guy he looks amazing and then here's just a quick look at the back now let's take a quick look at his articulation 
Starting off with the head, you know, you probably saw the peg when I took it off with the neck, you know, it's on the dumbbell joint. It can look up that much, it can look down, it can look, you know, all the way around and tilt. Shoulders move up that much, they move down, they rotate 360, biceps full, double jointed elbows. His wrists can rotate and hinge. His torso can crunch back that much and can crunch forward that much. You're not gonna get much movement forward due to this being an overlay, but you get a lot more back movement than I thought. He can also rotate and pivot. His legs can kick forward that much, they can kick back. He does get a pretty good spread on him. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knees. Man, these Masterverse joints are so tight. He's got boot cut, and his ankles move down, they move up, and he's got ankle pivot. And then measuring mech and neck out without the neck pieces, he comes to around seven and a half inches tall. And then comparing him to some new Eternia heroes, we have He-Man and Man-at-Arms. And I do believe Man-at-Arms built his neck, if I'm not mistaken. And here we have him next to two villains. We have the new Triclops that, you know, they're in the same wave. And then Clawful. And here's Mechanek up on the rotating base with this extra long neck. And I gotta say, this figure is really cool. I do like this figure a lot. This Again, this is probably one of the best, like, Masterverse figures I've ever handled. Like... He's definitely the best looking. I love messing with that uh, neck. It's so funny. I think that neck is so funny. Like when you get all the pieces on. It'd be cool if they would sell like a neck expansion pack for this guy. Because you can like keep... If you get another one, you can just keep adding and adding more neck pieces. And it'll just be so long. It'd be like that stilt man build a figure. Like... <laughs> Oh my goodness, having him with an extra long neck like that would be hilarious. And again, this figure is so fun to mess around with, with especially with the neck. You can, you know, pop off the um the club, the top of the club, and then give him those extensions to make it like the telescope. It's really cool. You can get some really fun like poses and playability with this guy. And again, he's one of the best looking like masterverse figures i've handled like again i love that metallic blue i love the silver boots i like that green belt and then that sil the silver neck is just another really nice color to add to him which is really cool and again we've never seen a mecha neck with an articulated neck it's always been that just straight up neck you know you twist the twist the body and it just goes straight up so having an articulated neck is really cool i really do think that's cool and get some really good range on it so, yeah, I mean, there's not much bad to say about this guy. I mean, he does have some tight joints, but you can fix that with some heat. And, uh, yeah, that's really much it. Like, I think there's a lot more new sculpting with this guy than I thought. Like, the arms feel new. Like, they look new. The arms look new. I don't know if they're new or reuse. I, don't, I can't tell if the body's reuse, actually, because, again, that armor is an overlay. So, I'd have to, like, pop it off to see. But again, this is probably the best Masterverse figure I've handled. It's definitely one of my favorites. I do really like it. I hope my dad likes it. Because, you know, this I am the one who's opening these up first for you guys. So, again, so hopefully we like this figure. I mean, I definitely like this figure. So, I'm really, I'm really excited to add him to my, you know, new Eternity Heroes display. If you want this figure right now, you can get him on Entertainment Earth in that bundle. Or you can get him separately off of BTS. That's where, you know, I got I got this off the bundle with Triclops and the two Revolution figures from Entertainment Earth. But, like I said, he's available. He just became available on BBTS. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.